Hi, this is team 15 and today we'll be talking about point net based object detection and classification in autonomous driving. This is Sanjana Banerjee and my teammates are Abhishek Ranjan Singh and Adarsh Puri. Autonomous driving has been a challenging and significant topic of research and discussion in the past few years. This has caused a number of companies to invest in it and launch their own self-driving cars. There are two ways of designing an autonomous driving system. First is the module-based approach and the second is the end-to-end -end learning-based approach. In a module-based approach, the task is divided into several modules like the perception, planning and control modules, which are further divided into sub-modules. Now, project, we have designed an object detection and classification system for the perception module. Driving requires quick and precise decision making, but most of the modern object detection architectures are either slow with high accuracy or fast with relatively slow, low accuracy. This is because most researchers use data in the form of 3D boxes or image grids, which renders data unnecessarily voluminous. A solution to this is the direct usage of point clouds, which are relatively sparse data structures. In autonomous driving systems, the data is acquired using sensors called LIDARs, which capture images in the form of point clouds. Point clouds are basically a set of unordered data points in space taken from the surface of objects, which are also easy to process. Now, encoders like point pillars are capable of processing point clouds with great speed and accuracy. If you see the performance of point pillars compared to other state-of-the-art techniques, point pillars outperforms all other encoders in terms of speed and accuracy by a significant margin. In our project, the point pillar architecture has three stages, the feature net, the 2D CNN, and the detection head. For the pillar feature net, we have used a pre-trained point net based encoder and have used the KT data set to train our network. Now point pillars encode the point cloud into vertical pillars of points in space to form pseudo images. So this is the first step, which is done by the feature encoder. The pseudo image is then fed into a 2D convolution backbone followed by a detection head. This outputs bounding boxes and case scores for classification of cars, pedestrians, and cyclists. In this way, it also eliminates the problem of dealing with expensive 3D convolution layers. Now I will hand over to Adarsh to explain the different components of the point pillar architecture. So the first stage, the feature encoder converts the raw point cloud to a stacked pillar tensor and the pillar index tensor. To do so, we donate a point L in a point cloud with coordinates X, Y, Z and reflectance R. So the point cloud is first discretized into an evenly spaced grid in the XY plane, creating a set of pillars. Then the point in each pillar are then augmented with respect to mean of all the points in pillar and offset from pillar center. The LIDAR, uh, the LIDAR point L is now nine dimensional. Next, we pass this stacked pillar to a pre-trained point-based encoder network to generate a tensor of size CPM. This is followed by a no, uh, maximum operation over the end channel to create an output tensor of size CP. Once encoded, the feature are scattered back to the original pillar location to create a two-dimensional pseudo image. Now, Abhishek will delineate the working of the pre-trained point-based encoder. A point net is a deep learning neural network architecture which takes in the point cloud as an input. Now, point clouds are basically unordered, da unordered data set. And the issue with this kind of data set is that when you try to process this kind of data set through a neural network, a neural network, since it requires ordered data set, fails to perform optimally. Now, PointNet gets around this problem by using symmetric function as a part of this architecture. By using symmetric functions, since symmetric functions are invariant to the order of the input, the data uh, it starts it performs really well on an order data set. For example, this structure is the vanilla structure of PointNet, and here you can see that every point is consumed by a single multilayered perceptron. And then we take that multilayered perceptron and do the max pooling. After that, we do another another multilayered perceptron, and due to uh, due to the max pooling. Uh, the function is no longer susceptible to uh, incorrect order. Now here we are using a pre-trained point net uh, auto encoder for our model. And this model is available at the given link and we have used the model directly and we have also trained it even further. Now others will explain the working of 2D convolutional backbone. So at the 2D convolutional backbone set, the pseudo image is processed into a high level uh, representation. The backbone has basically two sub-networks. 
one top down network uh, can be characterized by a series of block uh, uh, followed by batch normalization and relu function which produces feature at increasingly small spatial resolution and the second network performs upsampling of each of the features after the upsampled features are uh, followed through a batch normalization and relu activation function and the final output features are a concatenation of all those features that originated from different sites now moving on to the detection head stage it follows a single sh single shot detection the features from the backbone are used by the detection head to predict the 3d bounding boxes for objects the approach is a feed forward forward cnn that produces a fixed size collection of bounding box and scores for the presence of object class instant in those box then a non max suppression is done to produce the final detection so here the framework we matches we match two default boxes with cat and dog which are treated as positive and the rest is negative in a convolutional fashion we evaluate four de default box of different aspect ratio at each location in several feature map with different scales at training time the network will make predictions generating score for the presence of each object category in each of the default box and tries to match each ground truth box to the default box so also to for objects of various sizes in an image the network combines predictions from multiple feature map with different resolution the architecture of ssd usually utilizes a vgg16 structure which adds several feature layer to the end of a base network using a set of convolutional filter this filter decreases in size progressively and allow prediction of detection at multiple scales now the detail of experiment will be explained by abhishek so here we are using the kt data set as our data set which consists of 15000 samples divided into 7500 training and 7500 testing samples uh we further break the training sample into 6733 training and 748 validation sample validation sample points we train our network and then we produce the result on a 3d detection benchmark and the results are uh, quite matching to the state of the art performance as you can see here so to conclude uh, it is evident that point pillar outperforms every other every other network in terms of both speed and accuracy adding a pre trained auto encoder reduces the training time while still maintaining the state of the accuracy to match the original point pillar and this ends our presentation